Stamp stitch is a basic embroidery stitch that, as you can guess by the name, is often used for stems and flowers, but it has a lot of other uses. Today, I'm going to show you how to do stem stitch and give you ideas for when to use it in your embroidery project. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So stem stitch is a variation of back stitch, but the stitches actually overlap a little bit. So the benefit of stem stitch is it gives you a smoother line than back stitch where you can see each stitch is clearly distinct. So stem stitch, as you can imagine, is often used in floral embroidery for stems, but it can be used anywhere that you need a straight line and particularly a smooth line. So it can often be used in lettering and in outlining shapes if you want to put in stripes and of course for flower stems. Stem stitch is a little bit more difficult than back stitch. It's not hard, but it just does take practice to get it smooth and consistent. Stem stitch does have a twin stitch, outline stitch. And these two stitches are the same, except that the thread goes on the other side of the needle. So here's how to do stem stitch. Stem stitch can be worked from either left to right or right to left. So in this situation, I am working left to right. So begin by taking a back stitch, but your back stitches are at a slight angle. So I'm placing my needle in on the right side of the line, and then I bring it up on the left side of the stitch that I've already made. So the stitches are at a slight slope compared to the line instead of directly on the line. As you move around a curve, the overlapping of the stitches is what helps keep the line smooth. Sometimes you'll overlap your stitches quite a lot and other times they won't overlap as much. But it's helpful to keep it consistent within the line of stitching that you're doing. Outline stitch is almost exactly the same as stem stitch, except that in this situation, your working thread stays above your line of stitching and in stem stitch, it stays below. You might find depending on the lines or the curves that you're working with, one side will look better than the other. So feel free to use whichever one will look best in that situation. Often the names are used interchangeably because they're so similar. So enjoy using stem stitch in your next embroidery project, whether or not it has flower stems or not. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out evitastudio.com.